now. Hey everybody, real quick live. I'm gonna get right to the point and uh, we are going to do a quick review and overview of the Cruise Tools RTH3 Road Tech Kit for Harley Davidson. Available in the Law Abiding Biker Store. Anytime you wanna get it after the live, I'll put a link in the description below. Write to our store guys, buy it from us. We have great prices, fast shipping, and you're supporting Law Abiding Biker Media our continued efforts to put out videos like these so you guys know what you're getting and kind of some, what some of the best motorcycle equipment items are out there. This is an emergency toolkit for your Harley Davidson. We have two different models. We have this one, which is the Cruise Tools, which I'm gonna go through the Road Tech. We also have a Speed Kit, which is a dumbed down version, so to speak. It is a lot cheaper than this kit. Um, you choose which one you want, budget mm -hmm. talks, right? So I carry this, this is super important. I carry this um, not only in my regular street glide, okay, when I'm riding off duty, we carry it. I also carry it in my police motors uh, right over here on this motorcycle right here on a daily basis. Um, I will tell you a couple personal experiences and then I'll get into the kit. Recently we went on a six day Canada trip. Yes, Popeye's bike broke down, his shift linkage uh, actually broke and way up in uh, uh, Canada and we actually had one of these and we were able to make the repair on the side of the road and get him back going. Recently, this week, I was at Advanced Motor School, Police Motor School, and I actually had to get it out for this bike and make a small repair. Those could have been costly, costly tow bills, um, especially up in Canada. Had we not had an emergency toolkit, you're crazy if you're not carrying some sort of toolkit on your Harley-Davidson motorcycle just for those quick repairs. We chose this for our store because we believe in it and it has what you need and it's quality and it's a name you guys can trust. Again, Law Abiding Biker right in our store. Let me go through it. So let me show you this if you come over here with me. This, you guys know, if I can find it here, actually comes, there it is. So pretty chintzy kit that comes stock with your new Harleys. It has a few things. I actually put the flashlight in there, but it's pretty cheap and pretty basic. I mean, look at these wrenches. That's like, um, it's just not something that you really want to use. Look how chintzy those are. And uh, will it get you by in a pinch? Maybe, but it doesn't have that much. It's got some screwdrivers. It's kind of a multi-tool. It's got some torques. These are really pretty crappy, what you would expect for free when you buy your Harley Davidson motorcycle, okay? so. I wanted to do something better than that. So long, excuse me about that. So this is the Road Tech. Let's go over this. Again, the Road Tech for Harley Davidson. We've got two different models. This one, the big kit, and we've got the speed kit. So again, you guys gotta get this. I've had two recent experiences where we've needed these kits and it would have been a costly, costly tow bill. So let's go through this particular uh, 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 Road Tech kit. All right. so. Briefly, and I've got my notes just in case I forget something, but very common sizes for Hardy Davidson. You guys watch a lot of our videos. This has what you need. It's gonna get all, anything more than what you would need here, probably it's gonna, you know, you're gonna wanna get it on a lift um, uh, and, and to a shop or something like that, somewhere where you can work on a little bit more, but this is gonna get you through a lot of those emergencies, like I say recently in Canada. So, 9 16 inch box end wrench, box end and open end. All these are, this, are box end and open end wrenches. All right, this is a half inch, very common sizes. Right there, 9 16 half inch, exactly what you need to adjust your clutch. Free video on this YouTube channel. How to externally adjust your clutch. There's enough in here to also internally adjust your clutch, which we have to do with our police bikes all the time on the courses. We have to uh, pop the uh, uh, primary cover and uh, clutch inspection cover and we have to adjust our clutches. So this new bike has hydraulic, not so necessary, but you could literally do an internal and external clutch. There's many other things too, but right here you have a 7 16 and a, uh, let me make sure I have it right, 3 8 okay, wrenches right there. Very common sizes also. And then over here we have a 10 millimeter. Yes, there's 10 millimeters. One, I can think of a 12 point wrench right that uh, on your brake calipers, those funny bolts, a 12 point 10 millimeter uh, can, can take that bolt off your caliper. Of course, pretty standard. It's an eight inch crescent wrench that will get you through a lot of stuff. Awesome vice grips right here, guys. 
that can also be an absolute lifesaver on the side of the road up in the middle of nowhere in Canada. Let me actually adjust that out so I can close them. Stuff's pretty quality, guys, for an emergency toolkit, of course. And then we've got, uh, I'll actually put these back in that way so we can see them. Of course, tire gauge, very important, guys. Just a manual tire gauge, always nice to have in your toolkit. And let me go to this. This is super important, just some mechanics uh, wire. And I've actually used this before in a pinch um, uh, on a particular issue, a pin fell out uh, on my brake pedal. And then zip ties, this is what we fix Popeye's bike with a shift linkage, zip ties around his shift linkage, make sure. And of course, if you use some of this stuff, you can replace it. Let's go into this real quick. Torx wrenches are so important for Hardy Davidson. We have Torx wrenches all over. The size is T25, T27, T40, Torx key, keys, you can see. Um, double-ended depending on which way you want to use them. We've got all our uh, L-shaped hex wrenches. Let me go through the hex wrench sizes for you. Hex keys, 1 8 5 30 seconds, 3 16 5 16 And I think it even has some other sizes than that. Um, but that's got plenty of your hex heads, which are also very popular on your Hardy-Davidson motorcycle. We're in those all the time. Let me put these back in here real quick and we'll move on. This is the six in one screwdriver. This is really cool guys. A lot of guys just think it's a screwdriver. Um, you gotta look beyond that. So you pop it out. It's got, of course, flat heads, okay? Straight slot. It's got Phillips on both sides, a bigger and a smaller Phillips. Now, beyond that, of course, you pop that on. You can make your adjustments. Beyond that is you could pop this. It's actually a nut driver. So if you pop your uh, Phillips, now it becomes, I believe this is a 5 16 I'm almost positive, 5 16 nut driver for those hose clamps on your heat shields, guys, on your Harley-Davidson. And we just had one come loose on one of our police motorcycles on a training course, and I actually uh, had a 5 16 and we're able to tighten the hose clamp on the heat shield. If you flip it around, that's why I say 6-in-1. That one's smaller, and I believe it's a quarter inch. So that turns into a quarter inch nut driver. So that's why we call it the six in one uh, screwdriver. It does a little bit more than just the screwdriver. Pop that back in there, moving down, and we'll finish up here. Of course, spark plug uh, socket, guys. And you could get a crescent wrench right on there. You could get that on there and take your spark mm -hmm. plugs out on the side of the road while we're talking about that. It does come with a spark plug gapper right there if you needed to put a new plug in and gap a spark plug pretty convenient there loctite blue loctite down here nice if you have to replace a bolt you don't want it to fall back out stick some blue loctite on it all right and then we'll move down here to the actual mini ratchet nice little mini ratchet of course it's got the clicker so you can go reverse or forward depending on what uh, you're doing whether you're taking out or putting in it's got a little two inch extension all right, nice little two inch extension on there. And then let me go through the sockets here. It's got a, the first one we'll do is a uh, 10 millimeter. It's got that. And these are all quarter inch, of course, fit right on the end there. This one is a half inch, very popular sizes again. They've really thought this kit through, which I appreciate, because if I put a kit together, it's everything I would put in it, but I probably couldn't do it for the same price, almost guarantee it. 7 16 socket right there. And then we'll move down to the last one, so you guys know, and that is a 3 8 inch socket. Again, quarter inch drive with an extension. Super, super handy. I'll put this back. The other thing it comes with, you already talked about it, and that is the spark plug gapper. But right above that, uh, right underneath it, is obviously um, some electrical tape, which goes without saying how important electrical tape is to fix a lot of things. You know, another <coughs> thing you could put in the kit is some Gorilla Tape. We use some of that in uh, when we're up in Canada. We use zip ties and some Gorilla Tape, electrical tape would have worked too. But um, the nice thing about this kit too, guys, is this isn't the end of it. So that's what it comes with and that's pretty much all you need. But it comes in this nice little case and this flaps over like so and you can just wrap it up and it ties off. Now I will say, I've got a couple here. Let's say you're like, this kit's really cool. It's almost complete, but I need a little bit something more, something personally that I want in my kit. So. I take two little ratchet wrenches. I just grab these for show, but you can grab two little ratchet wrenches, box in, and you can wrap up. It's really nice. 
Um, you could just throw those in there and some other things too. That's what's nice about this. And I would just wrap those right up in there. And then of course, it's got the nice ties and you could tie this kit off, okay? So you could put some extra things in there. You could put the Gorilla Tape, whatever you wanted, if you wanted to extend the kit just a little bit. The one thing I, the only bad thing I have to say about this kit, it's minor. Still the best kit out there, which is why we brought it to our store, link in the description below, is this. And that is, it's kinda, I, I wish they would just make a pocket for this because this often, this falls out. It's pretty loose, your electrical tape, when you're opening it. Is it that big a deal? No. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not, or I wouldn't have brought it to our store, but I do wish Cruise Tools would take that and just make a little pocket with a flap up here so that stuff, it would be easier to manage when you're unrolling it and rolling it because oftentimes it does fall out. But we want to be honest and transparent here at Law Abiding Biker Media and uh, make sure we tell you. Let me show you the size of this kit. I'm tying it up. Again, carry one of these on the police motors and my personal bike, and I guarantee guys, uh, uh, you will be very satisfied with this kit should you choose to get it in our store and uh, you'll feel safe that uh, you can handle a lot of repairs. So if you want to come around, I'm going to open my saddle bag. As I know on video it's hard, doesn't take up a lot of space. So if you look down in my saddle bag, I'm going to pop it right back in the back here. If you come around, I'm going to pop it right back in the back here. All right. And there it is. I've got a bunch of other stuff in there too, but you can see it's that I've got a lot of room in my saddle bag and you can basically get rid of your Harley kit. So that used to be back there a long time ago and I had it just for uh, purposes here, but that gives you the difference in size between the Harley one, which has like not even half of the stuff that the other kit has, but fits really nice. So there you go, get that out of our way. That gives you an idea of how it fits in the saddle bag. So cruise tools guys, road tech, I hope that's helpful. And again, uh, I went through some of the things it can be used for, but there's a whole bunch of other array of problems that can come up on the road um, where you may need one of these. So with that said, again, in our store, appreciate you guys watching. This is a live video. I'll, when I get to it, hopefully later tonight, I will put links in the description below. If you didn't see the advanced motor school video, um, which I just got back from where I used this kit on my bike to make a small repair, I popped it out earlier today and it's a behind the scenes look, an inside look on Advanced Police Motor School. Getting lots of comments on that video, it's on this channel. And uh, all right, so we'll open it up to questions, guys, and I'll, in case there's any questions, otherwise we're gonna take it out. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you're notified when we come out with new free videos because we have a ton in the works. So you guys like it, thumbs up, share it with all your biker friends, guys. Do we have any questions? We'll wait for just a second for if there's any questions about this kit or any other stuff, guys. I wanted to keep it to the point, and I appreciate all you guys out there tuning in. I know it's Saturday night, but someone uh, said hi from Yakima. Hey, right from Yakima, very cool, awesome. Thanks a bunch, guys. All right, with that said, um, if there's not a lot of questions, cruise tools in our store. Someone asked if it's HTML5 format. No, oh, geez, yeah, that's a whole other website thing. So, anyways, guys, peace out. Make sure you're getting some riding. Ooh. Thanks for watching. Someone oh. asked, how does it compare to the Harley kits? I just did that in the beginning of the video. Go back on this video and I compared it to the stock Harley kit right. that came with it. Um, cool. I, if it's a Harley brand aftermarket tool kit, I'll tell you right now, you're, get, you're, you're getting ripped off because we all know if you, I could take a Harley logo, which is what Harley Davidson does. Harley Davidson will take their logo. Cruise Tools will make the kit for Harley. They'll put a Harley logo on it and they'll charge you about 50% more. That's what Hardy does, guys. Hardy doesn't make hardly anything. All they do is white label it and they charge you a whole bunch more and people think it's Harley and it's awesome. Not true. This company is, you'll see it all over. It's one of the best kits out there, yes. John Doe asked if you had any recommendations for um, medical kits. Medical kits. I'll do another video on there. That's a really good, as far as tourniquets and metal kit, medical kits, that's a good one. I'll put it on the list, thanks for asking because I could do a whole nother video on that. So thank you for being involved, guys. One more question, we gotta take it out. Okay, guys, peace out. Get some riding and thanks for watching. We're out of here.